Hey guys, welcome to another video. Here is my homemade Mini Z track. If you've raced Mini Zs before, you might know there's a company called RCP that makes professional foam tile tracks for Mini RC cars such as the Mini Z. If you look up Mini Z racing videos, chances are they're racing on an RCP track. These tracks are awesome because the Mini Zs handle so well on them and they're modular so you can arrange them in so many different configurations. But these RCP tracks are really hard to get in Australia. For example, I saw their basic kit, the White L, being sold online for 265 US dollars. But when I asked how much it was to ship to Australia, they said it's around 400 US dollars for one kit and that's way too much. So I decided to make a track similar to the RCP tracks but way more cost effective. So the way I did that was by going to Bunnings hardware store and buying some foam tile mats getting some PVC pipes, some Velcro strips, some paint, and I put together a modular track. So I made three different types of tiles, corners, sides, and blanks. And I did this by cutting PVC pipes to size, cutting slits in the foam mats, threading through Velcro strips, and using that to hold the pipes in place. It took about two days to make the track, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna set it up now and show you how the Mini Z's run on it. It took about 30 minutes to set up and it looks really nice once it's all set up. A quick tip if you have a dog, don't leave the track set up overnight otherwise they might scratch it when you're not looking as you can see it on that tile over there. Most of the joins between the tiles are smooth, few uneven joins but the Mini Z's manage it just fine. And the surface works really well once you put softer tires on the Mini Z's. If you want to protect the bodies of the Mini Z's, you can put foam strips on the pipes as well, which I've done for half of the sides. So let's test out some Mini Z's. First up is the Nissan GTR. Running the 6 tooth pinion gear, 20 degree radial front and rear tires, and a medium carbon fiber T-plate. Next up we have the AMG GT3, on this one we're running a 7 tooth pinion so we should get a higher top speed, the upgraded motor mount that I installed in my last video, soft tyres front and rear and a carbon fibre number 5 T plate. Finally, we have the Audi R8. We're running an upgraded motor that just arrived today, the X Speed motor, and seven tooth pinion gear, soft front and rear tires. So out of the three cars, the AMG GT3 handles the best, the Audi R8 is the fastest, but it's a bit harder to control. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.